I'm Sue Wilson, and I have a lovely uh, gold card for you for Christmas. Now, this card actually should have been a rectangle. So what we're going to show you with the video today is how to turn it into a square, all right? So we'll be using these dies. I have the Season's Greetings, which is the Shadowed Sentiment from our uh, Mini Expressions collection. This is the Mary Lynn, which we'll be using for the center of our um, design. And this is the ruffled edge Christmas frame. Now you can see it's quite a large frame, but don't let that put you off because you can do so much with it. It makes great borders, you can use parts of it, but we will show you how to turn it into a square so you can use it on just about anything you need, okay? Pop those to the side. Now, what I've gone ahead and done is cut a bit of these, so we've got all of our die cutting out of the way. So this is the ruffled edge frame with just the outside portion of it, and it is um, just about six and five eight inches wide or long, and uh, five and a quarter inches wide. So it's fairly good size. I'm just going to bring in a little paper cutter here, and we are going to just cut it down the middle. I find it's a bit easier to do, do it this way myself, and then line up the two edges, okay? Get them nice and straight, and then just decide where you want it cut. If you want it to be a, a perfect square, then you can measure this direction and then cut halfway in on this one, so you can, when you join them, they'll be perfect. Um, it's going to be roughly about here. There we go. Take away that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to tape these two together. Now the way I find it easiest to do is to turn them upside down and bring in a bit of just single-sided tape and line them up. And I like to hold it in place with one on the top and the bottom, that nice and straight, and put a bit across here, a little bit short. Let's put one more across there just to hold that on there. Okay, so that will work. We'll come back to that in a moment. So we're going to do the same thing with the centerpiece. Now I've cut the center out of the die, which actually is this section here. Okay, I cut it with the milk card on the top, and then I went back and used the rectangle to cut a gold backing for it. Pop that down. So I've glued them together. Now you can do this thing, you know, by themselves or together. I've decided just to... Um, to do it all as one piece. So I'm going to just, see this one needs about, I believe it's about five of these in. So I think I'm going to cut it twice. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do this one. And I'm going to take the same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, five, and cut it on this one. And that should be just about right. There we go. And if you need to, you can cut it down a little bit more. It's always better if you um, want to test how far you've gotten, you can cut it further on. And if you cut it too far, you can use it for another project. Okay, put these two back together. There we go. And that should work out really nicely. So I'm going to bring back my base piece. There we are. I'm going to use the, um, the cut line going horizontally on both of these, so they're going to line up. And a bit of mounting foam. Pop that into place. Put some there. Put some here. And this will go a tad over probably, but I think it'll work just fine. No, it's not too bad. About like that, actually. Mm. Better cut like that, actually. I'm going to mix them up. Could have cut it a tiny bit smaller. Let's do it that way. That is a much better fit. Okay. And bring the um, mounting foam back in for the bottom of this. I'm going to add a little bit more to it. So I'm going to cut some more. Put that on the back of this. Pop a couple pieces across here. Okay. And I've got a piece of antique gold card we're going to be using. I'll give you a measurement on that too before I put it on. That is five and a half inches square. Okay. I'm just going to pop that right onto that. 
That's nice. Now, I'm going to come back to this in a second. So what I want to do is create a really pretty little sparkly border. So I've got a piece of milk card that is six and a half inches square. We're going to bring in our double-sided tape. And we're going to go all the way around the edge. One of my favorite tricks. Just going to lean in, try and line that up. Clear tape on a light background. Pop some across. There we go. Make sure it just touches. Make sure you bring it off large enough that you've got something you can hold on to in the corners. There we go. So we've got a little crisscross that will need to be taken away at the end. Oops. Okay, give that a little push. And we're going to take and trim it even with the edges. I like to go all the way around one way. Take my tape off and then turn it over. That way I can use the edge of the card to line my scissors up with it. I find it's just a bit easier. Okay. I'm going to bring in a piece of copy paper, pop that underneath us, and our frosted sparkle glitter bits, which is my favorite uh, white glitter. So it's completely your, your clear glitter, actually. So it's just nothing but sparkle. It picks up whatever color you put underneath it. And these particles are three different sizes in here, so you get all sorts of glimmer from it. I just think that's the prettiest glitter. Okay, I'm going to put the rest back into oh, oops, back into our container. No waste. There we go. Move that off to the side. Okay, so now I'm bringing in my base. I've used the milk card and I've paper pierced around the edge. I've added in an antique gold uh, mat to it to tie in that same sort of color tone. We are going to pop this right in the background. There we go, line that up nicely. Now we've got our piece that we did earlier. We've got some mounting foam on the back of the gold here. I'm going to raise that up a bit for some dimension. Okay, and that will feature right in the center of all those sparkles like that. I'm going to turn it this direction. And I've gone ahead and I've cut the Mary Lynn. Now this die is beautiful in that you can get this really pretty outer edge with the circles on it like I've done. Skip the next cut line and then you can use this piece if you like. And there's still one more you can use but you have a, a really gorgeous design there. And I love the fact that you can use this all year round. It's not just for Christmas. I'm going to pop that right down here, the center. The Season's Greeting is a lovely font. I've done it in gold. I've used the uh, milk card as my shadow backing for it. And I can put that right across there. And the backing gives it just a little bit of room so you can have um, some mounting foam on there if you want to raise it up like I've done here. There we go. Pop that on nice and straight and if you want you can if I can find them you can add a couple little pearls and that will just hide that little cut that you have on there and I'll put one on the top and one on the bottom and just so it doesn't look like you're hiding something we'll put one on either side as well there we go can add some pearls around the center, but how quick and easy is that? So don't worry if your die looks too big for what you want to do. They are so easy to cut down and do so many more things with. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I am also on Instagram now at Sue Wilson Crafters, so you can see my cards there if you like.